I'm like, when does the asteroid come? <laughs> Do we at least get new tennis shoes and a place to lay down? <laughs> the GPS says leave the road, the compass, she ain't no good. Man, we're really out here in this backwoods. Some say it's the boondocks, some say it's off grid. Don't get that dream. We're bearing all we're our RV, B and B, B and B. State Park. In Texas. Atlanta, Texas. Queen City's not far away either. You know where that rock band came from, Queen? Yeah. Just up the road. Awesomeness. Yeah, real historic. <laughs> There's the Arrowhead oh, Trail. Yeah. That's real popular to look for arrowheads. And we're going to be coming up on the uh, Wilkins Creek camping area. There's like three or four different areas in here. Beautiful park. It's right on the uh, beautiful uh, Lake uh, Wright Patman. Gorgeous uh, lake here in Texas. Mm -hmm. We're a little burnt out. This is our first stop uh, since we got back into Texas after selling the house and uh, everything we own to join the uh, cult of RV. <laughs> <laughs> You have to sell, apparently if you want to join the cult of the RV, you have to sell all your worldly possessions. <laughs> uh, that's all I can think about when we were selling everything. I'm like, when does the asteroid come? Do we at least get new tennis shoes and a place to lay down? <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, Great. This is quite a ways back here, yeah. I'm not sure. Well, there's another nature that's another trail. Lots nature of trails. Trail so those are cool. You know, if you like to walk. <laughs> uh, here is the uh, Wilkins Creek. Uh, this is the first place we had booked. We booked this number 24 right here. I wanted to see it. It would have been right here. Yep. Oh, that's nice. That's not bad. That would have been real nice. Cool yeah. thing right there. Yeah, little private areas. These are all real nice sites. They're really spread out. You got lots of room. A lot of pull throughs here. Yeah, these are these are uh, water and electric only. Uh, but when we got here, uh, we were staying five nights, and she said, "Well, I do have a uh, full hookup available." And it was only like dollar uh, fifty more a night. <laughs> I'm like, we're in. "Well, heck yeah, right? <laughs> Why not? You know, that way you can just dump and clear right out of your sight, and you're on the road." We still got another uh, few hundred miles before we get to our. Well, spot Next destination. We're going to kind of look around, yeah. All right. But this is a very well maintained park. The sites are all uh, paved. They have tent camping here, too. And some are more level than others, as all, uh, you know, campgrounds are. Yeah, there's a little truck camper off there. Mm hmm. It's neat. White Oak. Ridge Trail that way. Yeah, lots That's of trails like back right here. There. I think they have like 35 miles of trails in here, believe it or not. So, but a lot of these, these are all pull throughs right here, real nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, quiet area here. The whole park's been quiet. You know, we're kind of heading into that uh, No Kid September camping. You know, it's uh, what are we at here? The end of August this week. So. A lot of the kids are back in school, and for those of you that don't take the little ones camping, uh, this is your time of year. <laughs> <laughs> so this is quite a big loop here. Huh? Yeah, it is. All right. And we'll continue on. We're actually headed towards the lake. There's another uh, little camping section coming up here. And it's more for, uh, you could definitely put some big rigs on uh, where we just pulled through. Fifth wheels and whatnot. And this next area is a little more, a uh, little smaller, a little smaller rigs. 
White Oak Ridge. Yeah, White Oak Ridge. But boy, it's real pretty up here. We'll take you. This is just a real quick driving tour. We're not going to get real specific. But I always like to watch those, you know, just to see what the park looks like sometimes, you know? Right. Don't you, Dawn? Well, you know, plus, when you're trying to book somewhere, you never know the size of the sites, and they say you'll fit, but will you really fit? Right. So this way, it gives you a little more idea. Well, it's funny. Uh, we booked one in here. said it was 59 feet, but uh, when I really got to looking at it, it was a back end, and uh, you'd have had to unhook and park next to your uh, trailer, and we only have a 23-foot travel trailer, so... But see how these are back ends? They're, they're for smaller rigs. You can just let mm -hmm. little tent sites along here as well. Right. But you can back up in here. It's 47 on the yeah. right there. There's a guy with a Class C. That's, that's a smart move over in this area. Oh, yeah. Cause it's, it's real pretty here. You're right up over here. You're looking over the lake. It's kind of up on a bluff. Have horseshoe pits yeah. there on the left. We have a horseshoe in the middle. You see the lake over to the right? Why do you yeah. see the lake all around yeah, us? Yeah, this, this whole area, this is like on the top of a ridge. Mm -hmm. A little round bluff and that's all lake down there. And uh, they say one of the best sites is this 53 right here. At number 53 because it's, uh, it's got a trail that actually goes all the way down the hill to the lake. Now of course once I got down there I couldn't get back up. <laughs> what do you roll down there? But there is a trail. Yeah, the guy in that class C, he's having fun. He's got his, uh, a lot of people ask about those Instapots. He had one sitting down on the picnic table. Wow, he didn't invite us over for dinner. Yeah. No. We gave our Instapot away to join the cult of the RV. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we, we did. It's part of our giveaway. Right. Mm -hmm. We gave so much stuff away. Well, we didn't really have a choice right. either. Had to yep. do it all kind of quick. Yeah, we were just amazed, man. For those of you who aren't updated, we uh, sold our house in two days. Cash deal. So it closed in a week, and the guy uh, gave us 30 days uh, to get out. <laughs> yeah. Which was fine. You know, he didn't even charge us for it, which was great. Right. A lot of times, they can charge you rent to stay in your own house till you leave. Mm -hmm. But uh, he said, just take the 30, and uh, I'll tell you what, we needed all of that. Oh yeah, it was a lot yeah. of work in a quick hurry. Yeah, we did that thing where we put the house up for sale and we thought, well, you know, it'll be a couple of months. So uh, we might as well, uh, you know, we'll start moving stuff out and selling stuff in that time. And we never dreamed the house would sell in two days. Hmm. Which means Dawn priced it too low. Hey! <laughs> uh, price that at a price that but you know, we would buy it. For. We're glad to be out. Yep. I've never been one of the people, I, I learned a long time ago that whenever I buy stuff, it's worth all the money in the world. But when I sell stuff, it's not <laughs> worth anything. Weird how that happens. Yeah, so I learned that lesson a long time ago. I'm like, you know what, I don't even fight it. <laughs> I go, yeah, this is all going to be super bargains for somebody, so come and get them. All right. And this is the boat ramp here. Yeah, it's one of them. There's two boat ramps in here. And they have canoe and kayak rentals here as well. Mm -hmm. It's a real nice state park. They got a little state park uh, store. We bought a magnet up there. Isn't that pretty? Look at that lake. Beautiful. That is uh, Lake Wright Patman. Right. Wright Patman, gorgeous. Wow. Really pretty. It's big, isn't it? I hope our GoPro ain't pointed up too high. But... Look how big it is. Yeah, it's a big lake. You want to drive down and go in? I don't think I can. Well, we don't have a boat, that's right. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty though. And uh, now we'll head back out of here. The only other section uh, is where we're at. That's the full uh, hookup section. Because we like to be clapping. <laughs> but uh, we like to boondock too. We, uh, before we got here, we uh, drove our butts off, man. We did like 900 miles in uh, three days, which for most people doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're pulling. Yeah, when you're towing, and, and two of the days were only 200 and something, and then I had a big day in the middle, like 400 miles. And I know there's people that do four or 500, but nah. For us, it's a lot. Well, we had just done all that moving and packing, and, and uh, it was just the two of us. Dawn actually ended up in the ER. I did. Trying to move out of the house. I'm actually still recovering. Yeah, she is. Technical. Yep, 
And uh, I want to thank the uh, Nomadic Ramblers. Uh, we were watching one of their lives and they mentioned this stuff called Blue Emu. Mm -hmm. Blue Emu, and it's a uh, cream, it's a blue cream. And I didn't know that, it's sponsored by NASCAR. Right. Um, or they sponsor NASCAR, one of the two, whatever. But, uh, man, this stuff works great. It's good stuff. It doesn't yeah. smell, and it really works. Right. It doesn't have that medicine-y, uh, you know, menthol, menthol right. latum type of smell. And it's, I didn't think it worked, it, but it really did. I put yep. it on my back and... I, I kind of took a bath on it. Yep. But yeah, thanks to you guys for uh, that tip. Blue Emu. Yeah. It'll keep you going. That and a couple of uh, <laughs> fifths of whiskey. No. No. <laughs> no. I was going to say ibuprofen, but I meant. Yeah. But sometimes I go for the cheap joke. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with a shot of whiskey now and then, you know? No, no, no. Keeps your blood thin. That's right. Strictly a medicinal. Strictly medicinal. Yes, exactly. But this is a beautiful state park. I'm trying to remember what was it. It's like 16 bucks a night. It's cheap if you have the uh, the Texas uh, state, park, state pass. park pass. That's around 70 bucks for a year. But again, you know, you save the day use fees, and you can go into any of these state parks and, and stay all day. Doesn't cost you anything, and you get a break on the camping. So, right. Uh, it's well, gonna, it'll work out for us because uh, we tend to we want to do a lot of stuff in Texas. And uh, this this one, uh, if you have that pass, you also get a discount in the store as well. Oh, really? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. I didn't know that. That's true. Wasn't much in the store, just uh, some trinkets and stuff. And yeah, just some a few, a few key chains and pocket knives and magnets. Oh, did they? And pocket knives? And I didn't see the pocket knives. Yeah, uh, they have cups, coffee cups. That was my thing when I was a kid. I always collected pocket knives. Stuffed animals. You're not paying attention to my pocket knife issue. Yes, I am paying attention. I want to go back and see the pocket knife. I didn't want to <laughs> tell you about them for a reason. Were they nice ones, like buck knives? No, they were horrible, and you should never want to see them. Hey, now you're going to make me go back. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'd like to get, I need a couple more pockets. No, what do you mean, you got like a, what, a couple hundred? I gave them all away to join the cult of the army. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a whole video on the cult of the RV, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I got a whole theory. Oh, boy. I got, got a whole theory. theory. <laughs> yeah, I got too. a theory. <laughs> it's a big conspiracy between YouTube and RVs and, huh. and, and all kinds of stuff. It'll be fascinating. <laughs> of course, tongue in cheek. I can't hardly wait. It'll be satire and tongue in cheek, but I, I've got an idea brewing. Yeah. Uh, you Scares know. me to death, people. Right. So maybe this is actually just a teaser video for the Cult of the RV video coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're, uh, we love Texas, but actually we just love anywhere in the South. Um, yeah, it's in my DNA. My uh, grandma was Kentucky, my grandfather was Virginia, other grandpa was Iowa. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go down to this other boat ramp here first and then we'll take you okay. through the full hookup area where we're at. But this is the uh, second boat ramp in here. Okay. I hope it's not too busy. I don't want to mess these guys up. It'll be a beautiful day to be out on the water doing some fishing. That's for sure. Was it 90 degrees here, I think, today? Yeah, it's been running around 90. There's the boat ramp. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty lake, isn't it? Little boat cl uh, fish cleaning station there, and you're right. It's really pretty. Awesomeness. Really pretty. This is rough to take right here. Yeah, out there swimming. Look at no, that. No, they're not. What is that? That's <laughs> logs or something. Bonehead. <laughs> no, they are people. Oh, they're swimming. For real life, that those are people. Yeah, they are. They're swimming. I'll be doing. They're not looking for help, are they? <laughs> <laughs> No, they're just swimming. See, I, like wonder, they're I wondered if they had access. We're going to spin around here. Hang on, folks. We'll spin around and get you a shot of this lake. Yeah, they are down there swimming. See? Oh, my gosh. You're trying to freak me out. Go ahead you? and see if make sure to point that camera down that way. That's nice. Yeah, there they are. They're way off in the distance there. That looks nice. 
Are they skinny dipping? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah, so those uh, no lifeguards from your own wrist, so. So that's how you get down to the water. That seems so steep though. Well, you know. I guess there is a little beach down there. I'll be darned. They got their, uh, yeah. There's their towels and stuff. Walk on down the hill. I wondered if they had a swimming access. Well, now you know. You've learned something today. My gosh, they do. Well, they got some steep boat ramps, so you want to have a good uh, heavy duty. I don't know. That's a pull. <laughs> That's a pull up that hill if you got too big a boat. You better have the big truck to go with it. Or go to the other boat ramp. They're very pretty, though. Yeah, it looked like fun. I love to swim. We went swimming the last stop we were at. We did. Yeah. We were like that say, one in the We apologize. We didn't film much. Uh, we got so busy with the house and we just got so exhausted. You know, when you get all that life stuff going on, sometimes YouTube has to take a back seat. Oh, yeah. We were just mentally, physically, yeah, the framed. whole thing just downright exhausted. We still <laughs> are. This is only yeah. our, uh, this is our second day in here, or the third day. We're holding third up here day. for four or five days just to kind of get it back together and chill out a little bit. We even ran into, uh, I felt bad we ran into- Oh, uh, Jarhead and Ginger. Yeah, that's a little tent area off to our right there. Those are it's all tents. But then you come around here, the park house would be there, but they don't have one right now. Nope. But yeah, we ran into Jarhead and Ginger and it just killed us. We were leaving the next day because we were trying to make this run for Texas. And we didn't really get a time to proper do a proper, uh, spend some time with them. You right, know? right. Um, we just got to say hi, but yeah, so hopefully we'll run into them again. I know they do a lot in Texas too, but these are all the full hookups. These are all pull throughs and on the, on the right hand side to y'all's right, those are back ends and uh, we booked one of those first, but we would have had to unhook and park next to it and I knew we were going to be tired when we got here, so we went for the pull through. We normally don't. There's a nice bigger rock hood. Beautiful back here. And uh, for those of you that know, uh, man, I'm loving this F-250. Uh, it's changed our towing experience. I wouldn't say 100%, but what? 60% mm. better, 70%, I don't know, a lot. A lot better. Made a huge improvement. But yeah, lots I of- I can actually relax. Yep. <laughs> Yep, they got a pavilion over there to the yeah. right. We'll show you when we spin around Lots here. Lots of little uh, picnic areas there with uh -huh. cookers. And and this is like another big, it's like these little bluffs they have out over the water here. And you can walk down to the water, I think, from here too. Right, oh yeah, you can. But those people there, they're just there. day, they're day use and they got their picnic all set up. Beautiful uh, cement picnic tables. Mm-hmm. Cookers, boy, it's just awesome. Gorgeous lake, just absolutely gorgeous. I hope that GoPro is picking this up. I hope so, because it is beautiful. It's just really pretty. This whole road just goes around this lake here. But yeah, really impressive with the state parks. Nice. Real nice. I had to see people out here day using too, using it. Oh yeah. So many of these parks we go into, and it's like nobody uses them. A little volleyball net back here. It's nice, real nice. Great place for a family reunion or oh sure it would get be. together. And this is just outside of. It's kind of uh, just south of Texarkana. That's that pavilion there, and you're right out. Wyoming State about. Park. A little swing set area, of course. Yep. Basketball. Beautiful day. I'll tell you, it's kind of weird. Don and I, I spent about 30 years in Florida and Don spent a lot of years in Florida. But well, we were, we're born and raised in Michigan, but neither one of us uh, care for the winter activities anymore. It's like when we were kids, we skied and sled it, sledded and right. did all the stuff you do. I mean, you don't know any better when you're a kid. You just, you live where you live and you do what you do where you're at. Right. But uh, now that we're almost grown up, yeah, we've uh, figured out uh, we'd rather just do a little bit. In the we snow, like warm areas. Visit the snow, but not live in it. <laughs> so, 
there's our rig there. Not the fifth wheel, of course. <laughs> but there's our little bunkie. There thanks, you are, bunkie. Thanks to Badge for letting us have that bunkie name, by the way. We love it. So, uh, yeah, we got her all set up there. So there she is, sitting good. Dogs are inside in the air conditioning. It's about 90 here today. And uh, that's about going to wrap it up. We might walk around the campsite there a little bit, but that's pretty much the Atlanta State Park uh, drive through view. So we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we hope everybody's figured out that we're the old Adventures in Xanadu, and our new name is RVBFE. And uh, we hope you get out there, have some fun, get out there and enjoy it. Toodaloo!